Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Nomad Travel Adventures. Simon here and I am so excited about this because it's been a long time since I've been out of Europe so I'm excited to say that I'll be showing you some of India. And uh, right now it's actually 3.41 a.m. here in India. I am at the Delhi airport. Um, I actually took a flight with Lufthansa. I had a layover in Munich, but it wasn't very long. It was uh, like 10 minutes, literally. I went from one plane to the next. And now I'm in New Delhi. And so uh, I am actually gonna go to the south of India and show you that first. Um, I'm gonna be meeting Marie, as you guys uh, already know. You can check out some of the videos that we did while we were doing some of Girona and uh, Costa Brava in Spain. But yeah, so I'm really, really excited because this is going to be an awesome trip. I'm going to be showing you the Kerala region. Um, right now, we am taking a flight to Kochi. It starts boarding around 4.50, so I have a while, but I am at my favorite place, Starbucks. So I'm just going to enjoy my coffee and uh, you guys tag along, get ready for the ride. If you haven't already done so, do subscribe to my channel. There will be plenty of India videos to be coming in the near future, so be on the lookout for that. Anyways guys, I'm gonna enjoy the coffee. I will catch you soon. It was my first day in India and I was thrilled. This was a country that had been on my list for such a long time. After arriving in Delhi, I had a short caffeine fix to get ready to get on the last plane that would take me to Kochi. Looking around the airport, it was 4 in the morning, but there was definitely a crowd. Just goes to show how busy and populated India can be. Talk about a culture shock. I flew nationally Indigo and was really tired since I had been flying for over 24 hours. Just a small price you have to pay to get a cheaper flight to a country far away. Still, it was pretty comfortable and I arrived at Kochi in no time. My objective was to head to the south of India to the Kerala region. There was supposed to be some pretty amazing sites and plenty of cities to visit. I would meet Marie in Alipay, which would be the first town we would visit. From the Kochi airport, I took a taxi to the central train station. The airport was pretty far from the city center, so I got a first glance at this more tropical looking part of India. It was so cool, but traffic was kind of scary. Everything was pretty economical because of the conversion from Euro to Indian Rupee. Still, you have to watch out for scammers. The train experience was one of the highlights during my trip to India and it was so nice to be able to sightsee through the area. It's a fast and easy way to get around and I totally recommend it. They even have beds in case you're feeling tired and need a nap. The jet lag was definitely getting to me, so after arriving in Alpe, I decided to head to the homestay and get my siesta on. Hello party people, I am back and I just got done with my nap. Um, long ass nap. <laughs> it was a really long nap. I needed it. I finally made it to the hostel, and guess who's with me? Dun 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 dun. She's hiding, but it's okay. Say hi, Marie. Okay, I don't know what's up with her. She's usually not this shy. You usually kick her to shut up. Whoa. But, <laughs> with that being said, um, we're just gonna go get some food, and we're gonna just enjoy the beach today, right? Is that it? The beach. Yeah, it's right there. Show them the beach. Look at this. The beach of Alipay was the perfect beginning to my adventures here in India. It was so relaxing to just lay out and soak in the sun. It was really windy, which made for some fun wave catching in the water, but the waves aren't strong enough to go surfing or anything like that. The beach was also home to a lot of dogs. There was this mom and her puppies that just decided to join us and chill. The nature here was incredible with palm trees everywhere, warm water to swim in, and the radiant sun which was not overwhelmingly hot. An awesome place to just chill out and enjoy the perks of an in India most people don't seem to think of. It didn't get better than this. It has been an incredible start to my journey here in India. At the 
beach, as you can see, there's not that many people. It's almost like we have the beach to ourselves. Sunset was near, so we decided to do a bit of exploring. We walked down the beach, and there wasn't much going on except for some locals hanging around one of their fishing boats. It was nice to just get away from the reality back at home and see people enjoying a different way of life. Something a little more simple, but happier at its core. Marie's just sitting there reading, and we're about to go to dinner. We just got done with the sunset, and now she's being a nerd. And it's really dingy in here, it? It's quite dark in here, but I hope you can still hear me. Join us as we take a tuk tuk to the downtown area and get some <laughs> din din. I was a tuk tuk virgin, and it was time to get on my first one. We asked some locals about places to get dinner, and off we went. Tuk-tuks are one of the easiest and cheapest ways to get around cities in India. Still, traffic kind of freaked me out, so get ready for a bumpy ride. We did manage to make it all in one piece, though, and now it was time to grub. We were starving. You have to use your hands? Why? Yeah. That's the culture. How do you use them? You just you use your right hand. You never use your left hand. This one is for white feet. We took the waiter's recommended dishes, which included some of my favorites, like coconut rice and potatoes. Marie decided to eat with her hands, but for me, it was a no-go. And then we attacked like there was no tomorrow. Yummy. For who? How do you feel? Very full. We just got done devouring that meal and it was freaking delicious. After dinner, it was time to head back. More tomorrow. Hey travelers, I am so grateful that you were able to tune in and watch the first video of my trip here in India. This was by far one of my favorite trips. I cannot tell you just how beautiful the Kerala region is and how many adventures are out there just waiting for you to experience them. I do want to keep you updated and let you know that I will be posting a new video next Tuesday around the same time. Um, this is for all of you guys that are really curious about the backwaters of Kerala. This is one you don't want to miss in case that you're wondering about that. I don't want to bore you with too many details, but I do want to say that these videos that I've been editing from India have been some of my favorites. So I definitely want to encourage you to join the journey and support my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Anyways, travelers, thanks again for watching. This is now Matt. I'm signing out. See ya! Like my videos? Subscribe for more!